Howdy. Sacred Mount coming back at you with a new chapter, a fun one. This is a uh, septic and well story. So in my advertising, I actually put this like right in the front of the advertising. And my wife says, oh, it's so weird. Why would you do that? People think that's gross, you know, but well, you're going to find out why right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, my first inspection for septic was a lot of fun. The purchase was a HUD home that had to be sold in as is condition. At the time, I was very green recording, uh, regarding REOs or properties owned by the bank. I read a book on it, REOs for Dummies. It was actually very informative about how banks uh, or representatives for banks are less interested in the price a property sells for than the proof that they did the due diligence for the sale. In a slow market with no other buyers, you make low offers and then keep uh, resubmitting offers slightly higher. After there's a handful of offers on the book, then the diligence is done and the bank will sell. <laughs> no matter what the price. It worked for me and the buyers of the first deal that got a large manufactured home on a 10 acres for 70 grand. Here's a large manufactured home on 10 acres for 70K. What a deal. I was proud of the purchase price, but this home hadn't been lived in for a while and was to be sold in as-is condition. The septic was a very interesting inspection uh, that day. Anytime I have a septic guy bitch about digging, uh, I like to bring up the story of my first inspection. Up until a couple years ago, I'd bring a shovel and help the guys dig. It was better than standing around. On this first one, we were ready to help with shovels, Logan, Wendy, and myself ready to dig. The guy got there sometime around noon. When you don't know the location of the tank, they first start probing around, and if no luck, they flush the locator down the toilet and use a tracking wand to locate the tank where the pill, where the pill, as they call it, stops. The operator flushed his pill, and we started uh, looking around. He couldn't find it. No indication of the pill anywhere. It actually makes a beeping sound, and you get uh, closer. It gets faster, and when you're over it, there's a solid noise. This time, there's no beeps at all. We were, a, we were able, after digging for a while, to locate the waistline going out of the house. It was about a foot to a foot and a half down. The dirt was decompressed granite and not fun to dig. We all dug for hours, two feet at a time, tracing the line down the driveway. After we got a hundred foot from the house, the driver started to question if he should just leave or not. We went about another ten feet and then all of a sudden he picked up a beep. The tank ended up being a full 200 feet from the house, which the driver said was the first for him. As he opened the lid, he was also real excited the tank was full and needed uh, agitation. He got to show off his special mixer, so gross. It was a weed whacker with a super long pole and three large paddles on the end of it. I did not watch it all go on, but at least a test pass and we did that deal. Over the years, we've had all sorts of wild real estate inspection issues. One of the craziest that comes to mind is the sale of a 20-acre lot with a cabin and a makeshift sector system. When the buyer, <laughs> when the buyer had had bought, he had he elected to not pump the septic tank. That was not, is it wasn't used much, and it wasn't a normal, and it wasn't a normal system. The septic consisted of a 30, 3,500 gallon water tank buried up to the top of it with a leach line off of it. We, we were ready to close escrow. It was a small town at the time. The local Twin Oaks General Store Togs and the dump trash transfer station was the only hangouts, really. One night, the seller of the cabin storms into Togs and announces to everyone that he had a cow and a septic. The patrons of the store said he should get, he should get a rancher to see whose cow it is. He appar he appar but apparently the seller had a, had a few too much to drink and got a weird look in his eye and said, I know what to do and stormed out of the place. Joni was working that night. She was a massage client, a friend of Wendy's, and knew about the sale. She called us that night. It was great because we postponed the closing the next morning. The 20 acres was fenced and never had any cows on it. However, while the seller was moving, the fence was left open. This cow had wandered over to the 3,500-gallon water tank. Try to get him. <laughs> I'm going to get you before this is over. Uh, 
Uh, gallon. Okay, the cow had wandered over to the 3,500 gallon container of shit, walked right on to the top of it, and fell right through the plastic. Nah, I gotta start over. Damn it! You fly, I'm gonna kill you right now. You little shithead. <laughs>